roll a pair of dice 24 times. Let the event A be rolling double sixes. Find the probability of A. This was a gambling game many centuries ago um, that was played and you can picture what's going on here is you have a pair of dice and you're rolling it over and over 24 times and if double sixes appear then the person that is uh, rolling the dice wins otherwise the house wins and so trying to figure out the probability of A. Supposedly Blaise Pascal got involved with solving this question back at the beginning of uh, probability theory. So let's start out here we want to find the probability of A and if you experiment with this a little bit you will find that it is much easier to calculate the probability 1 minus the probability of A prime that is A not occurring. So instead of finding the probability of rolling double sixes we're now interested in the probability of not rolling double sixes. We are back in the equally likely case again so in the denominator we want to count the number of ways that a pair of dice can be rolled 24 times, all of the different outcomes. Well, we know in the first position here, the first time you roll those dice, there are 6 times 6, or 36 different outcomes. The second time the dice are rolled, there are again 6 times 6, or 36 different outcomes. And this will continue. 24 times. So you have 36 to the 24th power in the denominator. Now for the numerator, remember we are finding the probability of not rolling double sixes in those 24 rolls. On the first roll, the way to not roll a double six, there are 35 such ways. 35 ways to not roll a double six on the first roll. 35 ways to not roll a double six on the second roll and finally out towards the end here there are 35 ways on this toss and on the last toss there are again 35 ways to not roll a double six. So this becomes 1 minus 35 36 raised to the 24th power and if you work that out on a calculator you will find this is 0.4 9, 1, 4. In gambling games, probabilities like this are very common. If a dollar is bet on this particular game, there is a 98 cent return on the dollar. And that's enough to lure gamblers into the game, but at the same time, the house will win out in the long run.